Hill. What's up, Mike? Not much. What's going on, dude? Not too much, dude. Just got my uh, hell whoop fucking parts in the mail finally, dude. Yes! Oh! <laughs> dude, I know. All right, sweet, man. Thanks. Later. All right, later.
just uh the antenna wires i just threw a zip tie then put the zip tie in the shrink wrap put the antenna through the shrink wrap and used one of the standoffs there if you can see kind of like the one in the back there i just used that to hold the top one down and then i took another antenna and on the bottom side i just taped it to like that with another zip tie so, I mean, that way you get pretty solid reception with, with that. Here we are setting up the Hell Whoop. Uh, we need to go to the port tab here. You're going to turn UART3, Serial RX, you're going to turn that on. Don't worry about this one, just turn 
this one on. Save, reboot. Should automatically connect again. You're gonna go over to this ports tab again. Just check that, that RX serial is still checked. And then go over here to the configuration tab. Now here, I usually make sure that the motor stop, which is don't spin motors when armed, is turned off because I do like my motors to spin when I arm. So in the configuration tab, if you go to this receiver box here, you'll see this drop down. You're going to want to select serial based receiver, which includes this S bus right here. And we are using S bus. Now here, I am going to turn on my remote and plug in a battery to the hell loop. Okay. Now here you should see the remote is functioning like it should. Throttle, yaw, pitch and roll is working as it should. And I have to be completely honest, this actually wouldn't have worked unless I wouldn't have learned from Jeff at Excel Drones actually flashed my flight controller for me. It works now, so thank you Jeff. I was a little uncomfortable with flashing on my own. He actually showed me a sweet a little uh, driver called Impulse RC Driver Fixer, which actually allows you to put your flight controller in DFU mode without actually doing any of the soldering or jumping the pads. So that was awesome. Thanks a lot, Jeff. You're the man. I want to throw a big shout out to Michael Vanston and Chris Haas for coming up with this frame, this Van Haas designs. This thing is awesome. I am probably definitely going to be purchasing a couple more of these frames off of you guys. Keep up the good work, guys. Man, this thing flies really solid. I really like it. I'm really happy with how it flies. I'm happy with how it crashes. I haven't broken anything besides, I think, one prop so far. Um, I got it stuck about 150 feet up in a tree already. I uh, used a shotgun to get it out. Of course, I didn't shoot this. I just shot the stick that it was on. Like I said in my post on Facebook, I don't really recommend doing that. I recommend going and getting one of those slingshot type deals for usually people who uh, cut trees. I don't know if you can just look how tiny this is. Look at that. This is amazing. This thing is amazing. But uh, sweet. Uh, I'm going to leave you with some flight footage. So peace.